Hello everyone and welcome back to my plan. Let's play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. My name is Les Bird, this is your story based gaming channel, and today we're gonna continue on with the story here in uh Glitzville. I try to access the terminal and our privileges have been suspended. And one of the security guards said uh Grobo is heading to the ring, so what's the story here? Is this access doing? I do not know. I do want to say that I am feeling under the weather today. I'm all stuffy. And hopefully that doesn't come across in the, uh... Uh, I just ran by at about Mark 6 and then went to the ring. Oh, that doesn't come through in the, uh, playthrough. So I'm gonna do my best. Ah, uh, he would decide. There we go. He was winging. Winging! Ah! Huh. Hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day. This is the glitch for itself. That's the ring in the middle. That's where all the magic happens. And by magic, I mean brittle beatdowns. <laughs> On, I knew that would come down to us. I gotta say, y'all are a couple slack-jawed idiots slipping around my business. Now you know my big secret. I'm afraid you're gonna have to take a little dirt nap. What the heck? There's a star. I got all the liquid. Look, Mario, up there. The real crystal star. Yuck, 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 yuck. How do you like my machine? It's pretty dang nice, huh? Yep, yeah, I've been sucking power for fighters with this baby slurp. You're darn tuning. And you know why? Because the case of my body forever young, son. Using a crystal star to look good? It's so totally vain. You're gonna pay for that? I just shut your traps now. I'll use my crystal star however I dang please. Check this out. Yeah, mess it up. Oh, you just grew huge. My two grabber. Whoa, Grubba got huge. Hoo-wee! I'm gonna smush you guys into guacamole and stack on your energy, too. All right, big fight night tonight. Macho! I'm a powerhouse now, you pesky little pieces of prairie piffle. As so long as I have this here machine, my body will be rough and tough and ultra buff. Oh, Mario, I just had about enough of this guy's yapping. Let's take him down. Look at those giant bombs. Man. All right, Tile Macho Grubba. That's Macho Grubba. He's Grubba all souped up on Crystal Star Power. His max HP is 60, attacks 4, defense is 0. His attack pattern is simple. First, he increases the number of times he can attack. Then, he powers himself up with all sorts of crazy power up moves. So, it's pretty important to pay close attention to how he's powered himself up. The craziest thing about this muscle is that he used to be that chumpy Grubba. I guess crystal stars really are powerful. How come the crystal stars don't make me do this? All they make me do is use like special moves. I burned them. That's a consistent source of damage right there. Yeah, love that. All right, um, what do we do now? Um. I'm gonna do a normal jump first. And then I'm gonna swap into flight mode. And we're gonna do some mini eggs here and hopefully uh, shrink them. Excellent. That's gonna help. It looks normal size now, doesn't he? Oh yeah, keep it spicy. You no, know, I love a good tassel, cause that is. Keep on scrapping, son. Cause it ain't gonna do you much good in the end. Defense is boosted. Well, that sucks. Uh, where is he going? Oh! <laughs> Lightning damage and fire damage. Take that. Go right through his defense. Uh, 
what do I do here? Well, that sucked. I mean, his defense is so huge. Yeah, I mean, his defense is so sky high right now. Stop it. Leave me alone. Yeah, y'all go crazy for Mario! All right, I need a mini egg of next turn. Um, I wouldn't be so bad to use a, uh, like, um, some FP items here. But I don't really need health at the moment. But unfortunately, no one can do enough damage to him. See what I mean? That defense up is just ridiculous. Dodgy, some attacks will be automatically dodged? Well, that sucks. I mean, we're doing some damage with that uh, plus one, which is nice. Leave me alone! Stupid x -naught. Uh What we could do here is we could special a sweet treat. And I'm really looking for uh, flowers here. Of course, I miss one. I miss them. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at all those mushrooms. All right, this has not been a really good sweet treat, but I did get six. So that's okay, I guess. We're gonna swap to uh, flight. Go for the mini egg. Cause attack power down. Not too shabby, Gonzalez. You got some showmanship and that's gold in this biz. But this year battle's just getting started. It's time I showed you some real moves. Back in the day I had so many rump kicking moves they had to make some illegal. Uh he just made himself bigger. Even though he's smaller. Some weird inception going on there. Ah. I mean, I want to do a fire dive, but if I miss, it's going to be a lot of FP down the drain. I don't think his defense is up. I, mean, I think he I think he has an attack in yeah look at that flight is awesome whoa ha gotcha all right let's go for another super hammer oh I don't want this I wanted the other one darn it well, that was a waste Finish it, Gonzalez. Ain't over till it's over, and that's the way it goes to combat sports, son. And let me tell you something Fortune's gonna smile on me in the end, you punk. Alright, defense boosted. I love that lightning. So good. Go for the finish here. Thanks that lightning doing that one point of damage. And boom! Yeah! That's right, spin those eyeballs. Woohoo! No, how this happened? How could a perfect bar like mine lose to such a chip like his? Oh, great Gonzalez! Great fight there, son! That was a great fight! Erg!
Mr. Champion! Is that Jolene? You know, I so doubted you. I'm sorry. I, I, I totally wronged you, Jolene. My bad. No, I mean Maria. Please allow me to offer my undertakes to defeat that foul grubber. Ah, Jolene! I really have to apologize. I'm so sorry that I had to get to a vault. But you must understand, I had to learn the truth about this arena by any means. Let me tell you everything. I had a little brother once by the name of Mush. He would had done anything for me. Oh! Prince Mush. Ah, I see. This makes a lot more sense now. Our family was always poor, so we became a fighter here to support all of us. But he suddenly went missing one day. Our family was inconsolable. I suspected foul play, so I got hired on as a manager and investigated in secret. As I looked for clues about my brother, I accidentally saw Mr. Grubba transform. Seeing what I was up against, I almost gave up hope, and then you appeared. So I decided to secretly guide you. Uh-huh. So our ex-buddy was... Correct. It was me. Once I saw you fight, I knew you were the only one who could challenge Grubba. Now, sir. No, not sir. Grubba. I want answers right now. What did you do with my precious little brother? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The first champion, Prince Mush. Urgh! Prince Mush! He discovered the secret of my power sucking machine. I had him, ugh, disappear. Any which way you look at it, ugh, he ain't around these parts anymore. No. I suspected as much. Oh, poor sweet Mush. Oh boy, I thought she was kind of mean, but turns out she was just worried for her brother. Wow, check it out, Gonzalez, the Crystal Star. What's this? Whoa, is this, am I back in the glitz pit? Is that Mush? It's Mush, Mush. Oh, is that really you, sis? What are you doing here? I, I was, I was just. There, there, Mush. It's okay. It's all over. Finally. Ah, uh, is that what Crystal Stars can do? Now, Maya, the Crystal Star is yes. How about that? A happy ending. Except for the other two guys that got drained of all the life force and may potentially have died. Whoa, are you sure? It's okay if we just take it. It's better that you have it, so that nothing like this will ever happen again. Uh, it's all, it's all you, Gonzalez. Have it, dude. Oh yeah. You got a crystal star. I'm gonna learn this special move, power lift. End of the chapter. I'm kind of amazed it's only my third star, though. Crystal see me underside. It was a dark, dangerous place seen with conspiracy. With the help of the lo lovely Miss Jolene, Mario revealed Grubba's true identity and acquired the third crystal star by defeating the monstrous Macho, Macho Grubba. Grubba had used the power of the crystal star to run his power draining machine. What other hidden powers might these strange and mystical, mystical items possess? Who's ah? Woo! That was a fun chapter. Like I really like the uh, change of pace. Beldum, tell me what good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character. Oh, yeah, sorry, but only because it's tougher than we thought at first. You do understand that we ex dots was open the door first, do you not? We well, I'm so sure that I will definitely nail him next time. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, so I rapidly lose my patience. Yes, I do, sir. We. That's the way my lovely is Marilyn Vivian. Ugh. Oh, All the dots. So we're going round two with the the witches.
Hmm. No doubt about it. I'm officially bored. Those awful X-Things happened to ask about my map. I wonder, is it safe? Oh my, that must be tech again. Right, let's go see what our robot friend wants. Do, 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 do. Hello, Princess Peach. <laughs> you always call me in without warning tech. What is it this time? I apologize. I would like you to ask where Sir Curtis is and ask him something. What? What do you mean? Go ask. I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. Y you are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Cordis is thinking about this issue. But even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true, but you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. You will go see Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? All oh, the dots. I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? You imagine correctly. All right, fine, I guess. Well, so what do you want me to go ask Mr. Grotus? I will tell you. What in the world is Tech thinking? I mean, honestly, he sure is a weird computer. Out we go. Oh, is that the elevator you want me to go in? Up, up, and away! Please wait just a moment. There are currently soldiers in the vicinity. Huh? Now, Princess Peach, it's the room with the green lamp very near where you disembark the elevator. Well, left is always right, so let's go left. And one open drat must be in the wrong place. Darn it, of course. Of course I went completely in the wrong direction. Of course, of course, of course. Oh well. Let's just circle back around. Sure to be fine. Please change here quickly. The soldier's uniform should be in a locker. Oh, the outfit looks so adorable. Hmm, oh, is this a uniform? Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, that is correct. Erg, oof. I don't know about this. It's totally awfully tight, and it kind of smells a bit. You. Who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe, though. <laughs> I better look perfect. There are no clothes in here. Hmm, must be somewhere else. Uh, I, I love the little disguise here. Hey, slacker, what part of do not leave your post don't you understand, huh? Huh? What? Come again? All right. Oh, you want your break? Well, fine. Carry on. And I like the little noise as we walk. 
Excuse me, Sir Brodus? Yes, what is it? Speak! Er, uh, well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Hmm, something is wrong with your voice, x not. Gulp? Perhaps I have a thought lost in j No, wait, never mind. Oh, about Princess Peach. Yeah, I kind of need to go swallow a throat lozenge, I feel like. I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in the room. But don't ever, ever treat her roughly. You understand. Tell the others as well. But, uh, why? Why in the world are we keeping her here, there, here then? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impotent worm. Concentrate on getting the legendary treasure. That is all I require of you. We exhaust need that treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Conquer the world? Legendary treasure? What are you blathering about now? Hmm, something is odd about you. N no nothing odd. Uh, so, Roger, whatever, but please excuse me. That is strange. That one did not say dude at the end of every sentence. I must talk with the practice instructor. Oh, that was unnerving. <laughs> All that stuff about conquer the world, talk about creepy. I wonder if that has anything to do with collecting those crystal stars. Off with this thing. Whoa, good old pink dress, my favorite. Why would I ever wear anything different? I better get back quickly. Hey, Tech, you terrible machine. So your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course. After all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the world? How could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. Nobody likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, sure, but there is also joy. Is that so? Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer the world? And what's this treasure? I am afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan for world domination. Tech, let me use your communicator. All the doubts. I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. Send it this instant. The message has been sent. Well then, Princess Peach, you have had a busy day. Go back to the room, please. Oh, okay. Good night, Princess Peach. Aww. Aww. The little guy has it for Princess Peach. Hey, it's the punies. Oh God. The, that thing's humongous. Everybody hide now, save yourselves. Stupid cheating Mario. Who would have thought that food would be in Glitzville? Uh, did you say something erroneous? Uh, no, nothing at all, so far as you know. Hey, did you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Oh, those are some peonies. One of them should know about the crystal star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find them all and get the info we need. Hey, yikes. This guy is big and bad. He's larger than charge. Eat, leave. <laughs> oh, that's the uh, puny yelling that. Eek, you're scary, Mr. Giant Big Bad Breath Monster. Don't worry, Petunia. Big Brother's here. Well, go get through this.
Find them, my lord. Find the hidden pennies and make them tell us where the treasure is. Look, that grass combo there looks suspicious, your righteousness. I've already done that. Whoa! We're gone! You're one of them, aren't you? One of the evildoers. You want a crystal star. Ah, uh, see, I knew it. This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is. Tell us. How rude. Ugly thing. How dare you, you wretched crone. I am the great puny elder. Eee, my heart. Don't startle me like that. I'm too old for this stuff. You're both too old. Ha ha. It's Hag vs. Hag. Awesome. Oh, that. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, slow Bowser. You look as if you're just dying to say something. Uh, no, nothing. Let's move on, shall we? You elder hag thing, where's this crystal star? And don't try pulling rank again, you answer. Not your age will determine your fate. Huh, hag thing. Honestly, in any case, you're too late. The crystal star is gone. Huh, what? <laughs> That's right, you rude thing. We gave it to a mustachioed man named Martio. He said he was collecting legendary treasures to rescue some princess. What did he call her? Princess Pinch? Yep, he was off to save that lucky lass. It's Mario, not Martio! It's not Princess Pinch! Her name is Princess Peach! Ah, but your senility is besides the point. The princess and treasures must be connected. Mario's trying to get it all. Treasures, princesses, it does this green never end. Well, that jackal! Both Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars belong to me! To me! If I find him, I'm going to finish him off once for all, I swear it. I like the little interludes with uh, Bowser. He has an interesting role in this game, you know? So now you must leave. I understand. If you must, you must. We won't delay you. I hope you succeed in finding the rest of the crystal stars. Good luck. Gazellas, I want to tell you. The rock clock ain't going to fight dirty anymore. I'm going to hit the weight, take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square. Now I'm never ever going to lose again. Remember when Life Fox, you rock big. Listen, G-Money. Thanks for everything, man. I'm the other nicest dude I ever met. And if you ever need it, I got your back. Me, I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K's back, baby. And it's all thanks to you, dog. You're my boy, Mario. Now that grub is out of the picture, I'm gonna take over running the glitz pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep this spot open. You have tons of fans, and they absolutely love it if you made a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? And travel safe. All right. I do think I'm gonna go back right away, actually. Ah, oh, sweet. Another crystal star. That's three, right? We better roll back to Rogueport, don't you think? I do think so, but like I said, I wanna check the, um... I wanna check the arena again. Champion, or I mean, former champion Gonzalez. Why'd you go with the belt? If giving out the belt is like a water slide, what kind of swim trucks do you wear? Well, hold up, former champ. Uh-oh, the flash is out. I'm gonna be a fighter when I grow up. Yeah. That way I can carry on the fight after you're gone, but... Huh, great mustache. Have you really quit fighting? Well, great Gonzalez, we're gonna miss you. I'm so glad I have met you. What? Welcome to the, welcome to the quits pit. Ow! I bit my stupid tongue. No one must know, huh? You quit being the champion? Is that what? Do we? Well, I guess I'll just wait for the comeback. I was tough to say. Welcome to the quits pit. There's a guy over there who gets paid to say that, right? If it does feel the same. It's gonna get weird here, but I had to tell him. Ah, I sighed just thinking about him. 
Well, hello there, you savage, silly son of a man. You, you're absolutely fabulous, dear. Pardon me, you quit being the champion? Whatever for, what a shame. Then I'm afraid I have no need for you anymore. Soon I'll have myself a new champion. Don't you worry, toodaloo. Wow. You're welcome anytime, bub. Well, why don't you welcome me? You're blocking my door. Can I not go in anymore? We let's get women here, because I was our former champ. Give me the inside scoop. You shoot fire if you eat a flower? Well, that's insane. No one's going to ever believe that. <laughs> hey, what's up? I was just trying to think of a cool nickname for you. Let's see here. How about the Red Raging Plumber? Sort of nerdy, huh? I guess great. I know the way to become an unbeatable champion here. Want to hear it? Sorry to hear that. I have any ear problems. Uh, but don't fight your challenge. Hey, I, oh, I am not done yet. Are you tuning me out? When I get a little older, I'm definitely going to be a pro fighter and make the loot. I'll be wearing that belt in five years max. I know it. Uh, maybe. Cold, sweaty, death gripping action drives us nuts. Give us more, more, more. So let's go check the other guy here. Yeah, they say we're welcome anytime, but they don't let us in anymore. That's a little disappointing. Maybe I gotta like fully leave the area and come back or something. Oh, the, the toadettes are gone. Everyone else is gone too. The, the, the French guy. I gotta thank you, buddy. Since you run to the top, business been booming. I'm looking forward to the day you make a dramatic comeback, big guy. If you're out of the picture, Rock Hawk will rain again. I'll be betting on him. Hey, what's shaking, champ? I can't believe you aren't going to be in the pit anymore. My money is on the Koopinator. I, I think he's probably the best fighter here. The greatest fighter ever. The man. Great Gonzalez. You gotta fight again. I'll wait for your comeback until the end of time. Oh, is that right? Ah, uh, so you plan to travel. I wish I asked you to consider being Bub's tutor, but last. I see, so you're leaving. Everyone has the reasons that is the way of things. But hear me, when you do return, I expect the same caliber of thrashings, hmm? So, you're gonna go with the chest belt now? What, can I have it? I told ba Daddy to buy it for me, but he said he can't buy a championship. What a rip. <laughs> Some things you gotta earn. I'm gonna go ahead and buy another hot dog because I wanna try cooking it. I've decided, life's too short. Forget the air sickness, I'm gonna ride that blimp. But, I'm still nervous. I mean, you can't get off along the way. Are there parachutes? I used to trick a little bit, thinking I could tell the fortunes. I'd be like, dark clouds are massing on the horizon. <laughs> awesome. Here we go. And we're landing back to Rogueport now. I love the blimp. The blimp is awesome. We also have the flooded power. I mean, I guess we could go back to other areas because I know there's things that we miss, but uh, I'm just gonna take it one step at a time. Surprised we haven't gotten the email from Princess Peach yet. As soon as I say something. <laughs> Mario, you hear that noise? That's totally an email from Princess Peach. Dearest Mario, I have uncovered something terrible. These things are x -Dots. The plane take control of the world. It's to that end that they're searching for the crystal stars. I still don't know what these crystals do, but you must try to get them all. I will gather what information I can. Princess Peach. What? They want to rule the world? That does not sound like a friendly plan. Tell me about it. No way me, no way me, no way me, no way me, stop! Ah. Nothing. 
Absolutely nothing. Hey, you got a new friend. Well, I got my second piece of the Marvelous Compass at Plump Village recently. Oh boy, I really got my dirty hands on that one. I'll tell you what. It was pretty wild, bro. Wanna hear what happened? Pretty long story. Hey, sounds good to me. Uh, which part of my story you wanna hear, bro? Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. Once we made landfall on the street of continent, we made for Pump Valley Village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. We learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hiza. Said his own daughter was gonna be offered as sacrifice as beast, too. So, of course, being a rook, I offered myself up to go into his stead. It's brave, huh? Now the custom was for sacrifice to be dressed up as bride, so I got all dolled up. I was one hat sacrifice, bro. I was even hotter than a guy named Cloud. And anyway, I looked so good, I fooled our foes and got in his lair. It was kind of rough fighting in that groan, but I managed. Chaffin really chased, bro. Chaffin? I finally found his uh, and the snake had a second hand on his tail. Talk about scary. Fainted real quick, but when I came to two, I managed to distract both the heads. Reared up, Fang's bear to attack, and at the moment I definitely lunged left. Escaping mouth smashed into one another and he vanished in a cloud of smoke. Shiny plate fell down on the spot where his body had been coiled. Yes, another compass piece. I set it in a point east to Circuit Break Island. Just as we're about to leave the town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it, she was sort of cute, but we ended up seeking out the next morning. I mean, I still have to save Princess Claire from the Chestnut King. And when the Marvelous Compass activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. It was beautiful, bro. I'm certain it was Princess Eclair's voice. My heart began to race. That's when I realized it. Princess Eclair, I think. I, uh... Oh, I kind of zoned out there. Um, so yeah, I hope we said it again, again not to ditch it down. But somehow we managed to get back here to vote for it. And here I am! If you want to hear about what I've been up to, just let me know. Hi, I guess. I'm Jerry. I'm a Bobomb from Plump Valley Village. Nice meeting you. Sorry I sounded so down, but you would be too if you saw when she dressed as a bride. I'm serious. It scarred me. It was honestly scarier than that giant snake thing. I feel I now have a moral duty to stop losing my dressing as a bride again. I have to protect the wolf from my fate. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. Yeah, you do that. Just took a short break to uh, get that lozenge. Hopefully give me enough strength to continue on for another 20 minutes or so. Graffiti Corner. Rockhawk may be strong, but he's no Prince Mush, is he? No, he's not. Fan, fi a fighting fan. Look at the Great Gonzalez takes clip hit by storm. End up sitting on the way? Why did I enter the shop? Uh, I need to go to, uh... This angry woman's place. Uh, cook a mushroom? That's the one thing I know that I can do first. And we got the, um, the stir fry. Let's also try cooking up more of the hot dogs. I, I don't know if this is gonna work because it's a hot dog that's been cooked and now we're cooking the cooked hot dog. But we're gonna try it. At the very worst, we lost 10 gold. Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Let me do that. Um. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. I don't want it. I just, I just don't even want it in my inventory. <laughs> That's how I feel. All right, let's see what he's got. Uh, attack effects G. Not too excited about attack effects unless I need it for... Why did I go in here again? Stop it, flyless bird. You want to go in this place. The reason you want to go in here is because you want to go upstairs to, uh, to go to the, uh, bat shop. Uh, 
All right, we got a sleepy stop. Power rush. Pretty lucky. Happy heart. Post call. I really like the sleepy stop. Um, to get a second one. What's that? I never knew about this. I can click others and he has like a list of stuff. Um. Ice smash. Hmm. I'm good. I think I'm good. Let's save up our money. I mean, I already have one uh, sleep stop, right? I know getting more is better, but I just want to make sure we have one. Yeah, we have one. So I'm okay with that. We're getting a second one? Eh, I'm okay with it. If it wasn't attacked down, maybe I'd go for it, but it's just a sleepy stop. I, I think we're good. Uh, let's go and check out the, uh... We'll go and check out the, um... Uh, the board help. Try to see if there's any new missions. I'm assuming there's gonna be like three new missions. Hey, I called it! Three new missions, how about that? Uh... Cake recipe, food on want, or Jolene, help wanted. I need some cleaning done. Motivated workers only. Please meet me in the glitz pit. Alright, I'll see you there.
What's that? You need to talk to Miss Jolene? Go on in. She's waiting. Yes, yes. Who is it? It's Cousin Randy Duck before entering. Oh, why? It's the good Gonzales. It's been too long. How have you been? Really? It's been too long? It's only been, uh, I don't know, two blood brides? I must tell you, we've seen a big drop off in attendance since you've returned the belt. I was a touch worried. Our financials didn't look too good for a while, but luckily, Rockhawk made a dramatic comeback and is reigning supreme again. Yes, it's been a whirlwind of activity every day since I became a promoter. Wait just a moment. Are you back to fight? Great Gonzales of return? You must be, right? Yes, yes, you must be. Come on, tell me it's true. What? You want to unretire and battle again? Ah ha ha. I always knew this day would come. Let me just find your old registration so we can, huh? Oh, ouch. I'm so sorry, but all of our records of you seem to be gone. So our only option, sadly, is to start you in the minor leagues again. Sorry. Really? Sorry, but rules are rules. We can't bend them even for our ex-champ. I'll just go ahead and put you on as my Dead League Fighter then. When you want to fight, you know the deal. Use the locker room communicator. I will not be going over the arena rules again, of course. Bye for now. But what happened to the, uh, the thing you want me to do? Oh, I like how little Yoshi jumped on the desk. You accepted that request? Well, fantastic. Let's get down to business. I need you to clear out the garbage in the storeroom and defeat the hunts. I can't get anywhere near it. I have a problem with garbage. I don't talk about it. Just put it somewhere I can see it, all right? Well, it looks like we can go back to fighting as well. I think this is the storage room. Yike! Trunk some more, some bristle word to tatters. Boy, they stink. Yeah. Ugh. This is a disgusting mission, okay? Can we not do this ever again? Ah! Uh, I mean, seriously, we're picking up wrestler trunks. Just wanted to make sure there was nothing else over here. Alright, flight. Give me flight. Anything else? Down we go! What? How do these things come back? How do those things come back? Alright, that's all of them, right? That was a cool back jump. You smell terrible. Oh no. You don't still have that garbage on you, do you? You have to take that stuff far away from here. I can't stand it. I know of a good man named Gumfrey and Grogport that boy that buys stuff like that. I've already got in touch with him, so just get that trash out of here. Oh man, we gotta go all the way to Rogueport now, and then we gotta come back. I will say these requests are a little bit irritating because they're just like fetch quests. You know what I mean? Like all of these quests seem to be giant fetch quests and it's the one thing that I find could be improved in this game. Because there's a lot of great things I love about this game. And it is just so much fun to play. But these requests just aren't as much fun. I'm still going to do them, obviously. I'm just saying I hate going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. You know what I mean? I don't even know where this Goomba is, by the way. I mean, we're gonna have to talk to like every single Goomba to try to find the uh, the one that wants these uh, smelly shorts. And that's absolutely disgusting. All right, let's go back in. 
and uh, let's try to find this Goomba where he is. I'm pretty sure they said it was a Goomba, right? Because if it is a Goomba, then we can eliminate, you know, the number of people that could be by just talking to the Goombas. Not her. I don't think there's any Goombas on the other side there. Was there someone right here? Hey, it's a Star Beast. It's like when the, the camera turned there, I saw it. Uh, I was hoping that was him. But last, not to be. That's a Koopa. Oh, uh, that's a toad. Uh, where is this little guy at? Could it be the shopkeeper? Please tell me it's you. Uh, can't be that many, um... And what? They're not even Goombas. What am I doing? They're Toads. Where's this Goomba at? Yeah, I spoke to Jolene. Now, who was it that you wanted to take care of? Now, who? What you say? Well, fine. Let's get it done. So, what are we doing here? Oh, my God. Still some left? Oh, my God. This, you see, this is, this is kind of ridiculous. I mean, why can't you just give all of them to him at once? And the fact that if you miss one, you got to go back to get, like, the one you miss. I mean, that would be pretty lame. I guess we're done with this one. Man, I've never had a job this thingy. Make sure you duress pay for this, man. Yeah, now I gotta go all the way back. You cleared it all up? Well, here's your reward. You have my gratitude. I guess you will begin that smell out of that room anytime soon. We solved the trouble. All right, so... We got two more troubles left. I think I'm gonna try to end this episode by completing the troubles. And that way tomorrow we could probably pick up with the thousand year door. That is all based on how long it takes us to do the troubles though. Yeah. Okay, trouble number two. I mean, games usually do things in threes. So that's how I thought three. I want to make a heartfelt cake, but forgot the recipe for Mario's sake. I had to keep my shop open, so can you find the recipe I'm hoping? I first learned the recipe from Taste Tea. Yes, over in Petalburg, you see. Please meet me in Customer's Hut beneath Rogueport. Or meet me in the Charmer's Hut beneath Rogueport. Charmer's Hut beneath Rogueport. I'm trying to remember where that is. I know I've been there many times. I just don't remember exactly where it was. They did mention Petalburg. So maybe I have to go in that direction. Uh, this one's gonna... This one's gonna drive me nuts trying to remember exactly where this is. Uh, we can't get that chest yet because even though we can flutter, we can't go up. And we'd have to go up there. Am I going the right way? I am not going the right way. I mean, this is the Pelberg, but this ain't where I'm supposed to go. You know what I just realized? I could use him to. Ah, ha 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 ha. You can use him to make like a little shortcut there. So where is it? Back here, maybe?
Yeah, here it is. I really must know how to bake a yummy, tasty, heartfelt cake. The Bellberg must go. Ask Toast Tea all she knows. I right, well, Bellberg's now just around the corner. Yes, hello, I'm Toast Tea. Did you need something? What? You want me to make a heartfelt cake? And who asked you to, Merle? Ah, uh, let's see. I know you need to make cake mix and ruin powder. Tee hee hee. I wonder who Merle is making it for this time. What do I get ruin powder from? I mean, the game doesn't even tell me where to get it from. Did, did we not get some cake mix though earlier in the game? I just don't understand the ruin powder one. It's probably to the right. No, we don't have any pick mixes. Where the heck did we get this from? Okay, I tried running around here and uh, talking to people to see if I could find some way to get this recipe, and I have no idea. Uh, so love to know uh, from your amazing, wonderful uh, friends of the community how to make this recipe because I do not, I, I do not know. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and call an end to the video here. I've been playing for, I've been playing for like an hour and a half. Well, I had to take a break um, part of the way through, but yeah, I'm, I'm fighting some sort of illness, so definitely need to take a break. Uh, thank you for everything. I love you all so much, my friends. We got some Pogo stud today, and uh, if we can just figure out how to get this cake, you know, we'll be good to go. Uh, until next time, my dear friends, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts, but before we go, Please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.